this is the third video on Gnome Cache. Let's see how split transaction is done uh, in this video. In one of the previous videos, I uh, mentioned that Gnome Cache follow as a double entry bookkeeping system. Here, uh, every transaction will have a source. Uh, every transaction will have a uh, entry in a source account as well as the destination account. In split transactions, you can combine this and make transactions either from multiple accounts or to multiple destinations or like have both of them together. Like um, you can do multiple uh, sub transaction within a transaction. Let's see how it is done. Let's take a case where you're going to a restaurant and paying via both your credit card as well as cash let's assume that you pay um, 200 rupees uh, via credit card and let's say you gave 10 rupees as a tip via cash let's see how it is done so um, you can either when you make a transaction you can either start from an expense account or uh, the source payment account or the, your uh, like credit card account wherever you want to start let's see how Let's start with credit card here. Uh, I can show, like, same thing you can do with the, uh, let's say uh, you can go to food and you can make a transaction from here as well. It will reflect in both. It doesn't matter. So let's start with credit card. And I'm going to en enter uh, dine out at restaurant food. Um, and once I'm here in the transfer, transfer section, um, there is if you look at look here on top you can see a button split click on that now you can see that this particular transaction has expanded and there are two rows so um, here let's go before that um, let let me uh, go to a swiggy uh, the previous transaction and click on split you can actually see that every transaction has two records one in phone bill and another in credit card um, this is the same way we are going to add a split transaction just that there will be more than two um, accounts listed here let's start with here so with non split one and then click on split that will be easier for entry so let's say expenses food and uh, I paid 200 rupees uh, 210 overall and uh, click on split so now you can see that um, there is a like increase in credit card liability and uh, food I can see that I, I, I am entering 10 rupees uh, 200 rupees from uh, sorry uh, 200 ru 10 rupees overall and uh, I can uh, one thing I missed is right should enter 200 here and the tip I'm going to do I'm I'm going to create uh, sorry I'm going to make another transaction asset cash and here I'm going to put 10 here so overall it is 210 I paid via credit card 200 rupees and cash 10 rupees now if you go to food go to food you can see that there is a transaction restaurant dine out at food and the total expense is 200 rupees 10 rupees I can go to cash you can see that there is a decrease in my cash wallet and th that is 10 rupees so this way uh, you can track multiple transactions in a single uh, uh, sing multiple sub transaction in a single transaction uh, every uh, accounts that you used will have a, a split transaction mentioned in it and anytime you edit click on split and edit uh, it will reflect in all these uh, three accounts let's see one more transaction um, in previous transaction we used two source account uh, now let's see how 
uh, we can use two expense accounts um, so for that um, let's consider a case where I'm going to pay use my credit card I'm going to pay um, let's say uh, for a uh, hosting website uh, international hosting website where they have a charge as well as uh, there'll be a forex charge by the bank so let's create expense accounts for those um, one is uh, so the way I prefer is that I uh, in expenses I, I generally create um, banking charges as a placeholder account and then put all the sub accounts there so but for um, ease of understanding here I'm just mentioning it as um, banking charges here uh, all the sub things you can um, put it inside banking charges the, like uh, if you want sub accounts um, once you start using GNU Cash, you will know um, whether you want to track it separately or not. Based on your preference, you can create sub accounts. Um, so if I was using it, I would have created a, a sub account called Forex charges and put it in there. So I added banking charges. I'm going to add one more. Um, for example, like uh, we talked about hosting, right? So let's pay um, hosting. Uh, hosting expenses and uh, yeah. so now let's make a transaction so monthly hosting charges so here I can make a uh, expense uh, which is hosting expenses which is let's say 500 rupees and uh, uh, hosting expenses you can see that this is uh, going to host ho hosting expenses you can add one more expense here uh, which is um, banking charges here you can say um, 10 rupees and when you press tab here you will know that from the source we provided only 500 so new cash will automatically find that okay there is a uh, difference of 10 rupees here it will show as untracked so you can see that uh, 10 rupees is not connected to any account so you can either provide a new account here or you can modify 10 here and it will automatically calculate the remaining part um, so um, uh, key for keyboard shortcuts uh, I told you before if you press tab you can go to uh, finish the transaction but since it is a split it will if you press tab it will only uh, toggle through all the uh, sub transactions if you want to exit you can press on enter and now let's go and see banking charges are recorded and uh, our hosting expenses are also recorded.